clustering is one of the very important basic concepts you can almost model any problem as a clustering problem because clustering is all about grouping right it is like one of the fundamental problems fundamental uh, modeling techniques so in fact these steps you can these steps are uh, almost valid for all techniques but let me cover as the these uh, as a cluster steps but otherwise this these steps so what are the preliminary steps like scaling and distances etc they are valid for almost all techniques okay so the first thing is whenever you want to set down to do some analysis whether it is cluster or any analysis it doesn't matter the, the first thing you should be doing is choosing the right variables variables means attributes choosing the right attributes you have to identify what is the right attribute you have to identify how much is really worth it in uh, including that attributes so select the right attributes and then very important step is next step scaling the data scaling the data means for example we were discussing about uh, log scale similarly data sampled from different sources may be in different scales in the sense that if you use uh, personal data let us say age age goes from 0 to 100 let's say on the other hand weight weight goes from different scale from let us say 40 to uh, 120 180 and height height goes from um, maybe 1 to uh, 6 or 7 let's say feet i'm saying so you see the point there right so each each of the attributes has different different scales so if you are trying to come up with the equation out of them you may you may need to consider normalization what is called as normalization right otherwise your scale could be wrong so you may not need to do normalization every time but sometimes you may have to you may have to do normalization normalizing the data you may have to uh, do you may have to bring all the attributes and all the variables or at least the uh, one attribute data that belongs to one attribute into normalized scale so that is very important otherwise uh, let us say you are trying to do some analysis on top of uh, weather in india uh, weather weather on the world and you sample some data in india and you sample some data in us etc but then the scale is different in india temperature is very different the weather data if you are trying to include whether the uh, rain is going to be affected by pressure or not but then there is some additional attribute uh, temperature attribute by definition the geological uh, representation of india is different from geological representation of uh, us so they are on a different scale altogether or uh, very importantly let us say uh, you, one is using metric system and another is using british system and uh, us system right so normalization scaling all those things all belong to that category where you have to bring all of them into some uh, uh, same standard okay and once you do that uh, in the cluster analysis you have to calculate the distances distances in the sense how each variables are uh, how each variable is uh, uh, how each data point is uh, placed uh, here it is as an example on the image see the image if you want to draw a cluster if you want to draw a cluster so how do you calculate the distance between the points so you want to group similar points which are close together into one into one cluster right but how do you find out the distance between uh, multiple clusters how distant each two points are one is one way is you can take the center of this cluster you can take the center of this group and then find out the uh, center of the next group and then calculate the distance between centers that is one way or there are other ways like for example take the closest point and find out the distance between the closest points or rather take the largest distance point and find out the distance between them so there are multiple ways so here you can see on the screen some some clustering methods uh, for example like uh, simple linkage which computes the shortest distance between two clusters complete linkage longest distance that is the longest distance and centroid average etc right 
So average linking yield, you compute the average distance between every point in between the cluster and uh, um, sorry, uh, you, you find out the distance between each and every point and then average it out. Okay. Centroid is find out the centers and then find out the distance between the centers. So this is this is the way this, these are the multiple ways you can actually use it. So in fact this this applies to multiple techniques also. In the in in each and every technique you have these kind of options to choose from. You will have multiple options, not just one option. When you say distance, it could be which distance you want to take, shortest distance, longest distance, centroid, sim similarly. Right? And when it comes to cluster analysis, this is kind of called a hierarchical cluster where you can use multiple methods, distance methods like single, single linkage, complete linkage, etc. So we are going to see the actual working. But each of the methods will have its own advantages and disadvantages or at least a certain properties, certain, uh, certain behavior they exhibit. Okay? Certain behavior they exhibit. For example, single linkage, uh, they are produced uh, elongated, elongated in the sense like this, elongated clusters. Right? Whereas complete linkage, complete linkage means uh, longest distance between two points. They will try to produce round clusters. And similarly, similar different different methods are there. 